Oh, Rusty RV TV, welcome. Okay, here we go. This is the dirt road that follows the uh, natural gas pipeline. It cuts all the way across the desert. I mean, for hundreds and hundreds of miles. They got this dirt road. We just left over there at La Paz Valley. We're going to cut on over. This will end up at Rainbow Acres, basically. All by dirt road. Check it out. Here's the wash. This is what feeds Tyson wash that goes into Quartzite. When it heavy rains, when it floods. Pretty smooth road though for dirt. Not bad. They do keep it open for the pipeline. Isn't this cool? There's gold out here somewhere too. <laughs> when we get up a little ways, I'll fly the drone. All right, we're all the way through it. More markers for the pipe, gas line. And we made it, yay. Side road takes you straight into Rainbow Acres, but I'm not gonna go in there. We're gonna keep on trucking. When I fly the drone, you'll see this this thing's straight as a string. Out here, they even got a little like a little golf course type thing set up here, like a little desert golf course. to the right see those uh, houses and RVs that's Rainbow Acres right there now that road to the left would cut you up to the mines up there in them hills and here's their little golf course right here in the left it's hard to tell but they got like little flags and benches and stuff you can sit out here I got good friends that live out here at Rainbow Acres all right, let me get pulled in here somewhere. We'll fly that drone. This looks good. view there's our golf course there's the buggy definitely dusty and the flag yay <laughs> all right drone time all righty up we go In the middle of the desert. As far as you can see. Now see way out, there's La Paz Valley. That's where we were. That's a road we just cut across. Cut through the wash. Kind of a major intersection there, huh? <laughs> okay, so I pan over. There's Rainbow Acres. It's a huge community. All the land there is deeded. Those are private lots. I've done a few videos on uh, that area. There used to be a second and a third development that never happened. All right, now check out the road. That's the way we're going. 
Look how straight it is, and that's heading straight for Dome Rock. You can see Dome Rock way off in the distance. Then pan around, straight down as their little golf course. A lot of people come out here and metal detect. There's been mining operations and all kinds of good stuff out here. All right, that gives you a pretty good look. Where where we been? Where we're going? All right, let me get landed. That guy was moving right along, huh? He had a lot bigger rig than this. But this mule is perfect. See the bench there on the left? That's for their little golf course. You'll see flags out there too. But I'm real happy with this uh, Kawasaki mule. It's perfect, absolutely perfect. And it does very well. On and off road. No complaints. All right, we're just on the back side of the housing here. Once again, this is a natural gas pipeline road. This will go clear over to the Colorado River if you take it far enough. Nice day, chilly, a little breezy. Typical January day. Get through that wash. Okay. I don't want to go too fast with kick up too much dust. See that paved road? That goes straight into Rainbow Acres. That's how you come in from town. They got a big valve system here, whatever they do. Controls the flow of the gas. area here. We're following along that paved road. Right up here will be Chola. There we go. Right out of it. It's amazing what they have buried out here. Gas lines, fiber optic cables, who knows what else. Been a lot of years they probably since they put all this in. There's power to something there. Probably a monitoring system, I bet, for the gas line. Okay, we're almost up here to Chola. Alright, if we went to the right, that go to town. Chola Road to the left takes you out those gold mines. See, straight on there, that take you straight back into town. About three miles. But, let's go check out Dome Rock. Yay! be 
out here camping. Yep, here's another one up here on the right. I guess you can camp here. I didn't know. I know a lot of people come out here metal detecting all the time. Out here you got the cactus. Look, you're on the back side of the mountains. There's Dome Rock straight ahead on the left a little bit. Got all kinds of cactus. Very pretty. Matter of fact, looks good enough. Let's fly the drone. <laughs> Isn't that cool? Top of one of these, I'll pull off. Look how deep it goes, huh? Probably right, really fills up. That's when you get the good metal detecting after some heavy rains, which they did not have this last summer. They didn't have the big monsoons. So far this winter, it, they had a few rains here, but nothing to write home about. We're getting close. Let's see here. Let me get up the next little hill I'll pull off. Yep, this looks good. Let me sneak off here. Right here. Alright. Drone time. Check out the cactus. Look at them guys. They're happy. There's the road we just came across. It's looking back towards Rainbow. I'll go up high in a minute, but check out those uh, cactuses. And that's right there. We're almost right there to Dome Rock, the camp area. Just over that hill. Isn't it pretty? Alright, let's go up. Look at that wash there. How the water funnels down from the mountain. You can see where it runs. You can see the shrubs. Look at the dust clouds way out from other four-wheelers. Pretty cool, huh? Now, you can actually see, let me go up higher here. We'll get over the mountain here. Let's go, up we go. Okay, see all those white dots? You can see the interstate. There's Interstate 10. See all those white dots there? Right there's Dome Rock Camp Area. Dispersed. 14 days free camping right there. There's quite a few rigs. Groups. But the groups kind of hang. Some come out here. Most of them do the Roadrunner and Plumosa. That's where we're going. Alright. One last look. There's Dome Rock. Pretty pretty. Alright. Let me get landed and we'll get on the way.
Well, cool. I hope you're enjoying this. Uh, this is the second time I've driven across this out here. I've always been told about it, but never experienced too much since I got the nugget. I came out here as a couple months ago, went back the other direction. It's amazing how fast you can cut through here, too. But if you get a chance, you got a four wheeler, can ride with a friend, get on out here. Here you go, here's a limo in the desert. <laughs> Anyone lose their limo? <laughs> From Texas. Alright, cool. They're out here a ways. Alright, well let's go up. We'll cut through the camp area, get back on Dome Rock, and head back into town. Alright, next video we're going to go explore the north side of town. We'll go out to High uh, Jolly, that BLM camp area. Then after that we'll go explore Plumosa Road. It's supposed to be a little bit of weather coming in, at least some clouds, but hopefully it stays good. But here are these guys, this is Boondocking 101 on the Dome Rock Road here. Anywhere from fifth wheels to vans, cargo trailers to big motorhomes. Alrighty, look at that, you can see the traffic of uh, I-10. Also straight across, that's all the property, the gold claim property of uh, the Metal Detecting Club. Over 400 acres. Get down to Miner's Depot and sign up if you haven't. It's only 20 bucks a year and you have full access to all the mining claims, club activities, everything. Minersdepot.com Okay, talk soon.